greats. I'm thinking about the greats, the Nishkis, the Dick Buckuses of the world, others. Clearly, when everybody thinks about the linebacking position, they think about you. This guy's got a jet engine. He's the greatest football. He's he's single handedly changed the game. Slaps the ball in the air, watches it go up, puts it into his chest, carries it into the end zone. Maybe ought to kick the extra point. Then he'd have all seven of these points. And of course, the most dominant defensive player of the 80s, Lawrence Taylor with the Giants. I think the Giants are pretty happy they wound up with the greatest defensive player who has ever lived. Most dominant defensive player of all time. Wilson has the ball knocked loose. Receivers. Mikowski under pressure and goes down. And Mikowski appears hurt. Mikowski now being carried off the field. I think that might be it for him today. And in comes uh, Brett Favre. Brett Favre will be the next quarterback. 321 consecutive Ironman starts. If you want to study Brett Favre's career, just watch the first game he played. With 45 game-winning drives. 107 left. Ball is at the eight-yard line. Here, Brett Favre, you want a challenge? Try this one. Favre completes on first down to Harry Sidney, who gets into the running room and gets out of bounds to stop the clock. I could make an argument that Brett Favre is the greatest natural talent I've ever seen at quarterback. Second down, seven. Let me tell you how it back. sounds. Do you ever wonder what it sounds like when Brett Favre throws the football, the ball going through the air? If you put him up against Joe Montana and Brady and Favre, Favre's got the best arm, the best feet, the best body, the most courage, took the most shots. I think Brett Favre's as gifted as anybody that's ever played the position. Over the middle, here comes Workman, and now the Packers must use a timeout. No, they don't have one left. I knew that this guy always believed that his right arm was better than every DB in the league. He'll stop the clock here, and he does. Brett Favre has thrown the most touchdown passes in the history of the NFL. From the 35, 19 seconds left. Love of the game. Uh, he exuded it. We, we heard about it in the piece. But there was also the human frailty. For those reasons, everybody could relate to him, and it transcended the winning, and the connection with that fan base in Titletown was yes. like none I've ever seen. Kevin Durant says, you know you're sick at what you do when we call you Megatron. We're going up on top to Calvin Johnson! This man is clearly, by far, the most gifted receiver who has ever come along in the history of this league. I've never seen the combination of size, weight, speed, okay, reach, Jumping a bill, we've never seen anything like that. I've never seen a receiver like Calvin Johnson. He is a new physical archetype. I don't know if he'll go down as the greatest of all time. I definitely think he'll have a chance. You know, there, there's a lot of good corners in this league, but there's only one Darrell Revis. Not a good corner, not a great corner, a generational corner. Find one of these guys once every 15 to 20 years. He wasn't just good, he was, he was second to Deion Sanders on my all-time corners list. Lifts up in front of Cromartie, caught it, touchdown, Cowboy! It's too easy, baby. A little too easy. Mm -hmm. Come on, who? Yeah. Hey, come on, who? You better put two balls. Now they are moving Darrell Revis on Des Bryant. I was interested to see who are they going to match him up with. You think Darrell Revis is the most dominant player in all of football based on the significance of the position he played. <laughs> he's tough. He's physical. He can play off. He can play press. He's a great tackler. And Revis, they never go his way. He had no interceptions last year because he was fighting boredom. Revis, weekend week out regardless of who you put him on they get zeroed out period intercepted intended for Bryant picked up by Revis and the Jets have the ball back in Cowboy territory
Mutation. It is the key to our evolution. It has enabled us to evolve from a single-celled organism into the dominant species on the planet. This process is slow, normally taking thousands and thousands of years. He's got power, vision, he's a great receiver. But every few hundred millennia, evolution leaps forward. to the viewers at home. We have a power outage here at the Superdome. John Harbaugh out of Indiana University to the Eagles. And later on, there's Lombardi bringing him out to the Raiders. This could be a run back from nine deep for Jacoby Jones. And letting him go, Jones is past the 50. And he is flying inside the 20. And a kickoff return, 109 yards and a touchdown. An all-time record. get one opportunity in their life to lay your foundation and to make whatever mark you're going to make whatever legacy you're going to leave leave your legacy figuring he has nothing to lose McAllister coming down the sideline and McAllister is going to go all the way that's off the charts Ray Lewis threw a block as well that's a 108 yards the road to success is through commitment now. shocking No matter how talented you are, your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled. Johnson is 181 receiving yards from Jerry Rice's single season record. A lot of this yardage, Mike, is after the catch, much like Jerry Rice did in his heyday. They can take a short pass and do a lot of damage with it. Fans in Detroit chanting, chanting, counting. the ultimate receiver role model. I love him because he's not the, the basic diva receiver. When you think of the Houston Texans, there's not a running back or a quarterback that comes to your mind right, right away. It's J.J. Watt. Here's a fun fact about J.J. Watt. He has more touchdowns than Arian Foster and Andre Johnson combined. Once again, Foster, the running back. He does not wreak the kind of havoc that a guy that you grew up loving used to wreak. I'm talking about Lawrence Taylor. And it's J.J. Watt! There are times that J.J. Watt looks blockable to me. Manning is dropped, and guess who? J.J. Watt. With J.J., I, I don't know that he's that kind of overwhelming force. Ten lockers. I just don't see him wreak havoc. Randy Moss is the best young receiver that I have seen maybe ever. This young man right here, there wasn't an answer. Many disturbing images have emerged in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. The hellish conditions inside the Louisiana Superdome were so bad, even those who were there have trouble describing it. Violence erupted, and there wasn't enough security to stop it. Hurricane Katrina wipes out much of New Orleans. Tonight, entire towns have been wiped out around... Drew Brees and the Saints will take over at the 41-yard line, trailing 17-16. A saint in more ways than one. 
coming to New Orleans after Katrina and helping bring this city back from the brink. More so than football to, to bring a region back and give a region hope. This is much more, you know, than just coming to be a part of a team. This is coming to be part of something much greater. Do you have any idea of the breach of the Gulf, how far back inland it went? receiver had possession of the ball with the uh, ball breaking the plane. The points are good. Two-point conversion. New Orleans is not charged for the timeout. Now it's going to take a touchdown. Well, to think after one quarter here, the Colts led it at 10-0, and it's been 24-7 to ever since. Is he the greatest QB of all time? Can't ask for any more time for that one. Peyton Manning is, he's in the league of the zone. He is, he's unbelievable. One day others may stand in his shoes as the NFL's top player. But right now, Peyton is peerless. of everybody that wants to see us win the Super Bowl.